friend came through it. Oh my god! It is absolutely insane. Look at this. Good morning, everyone. Give me one second. made it to the Badlands in South Dakota. After having some family time in New Jersey, Indiana, and Illinois, we made it back to a place that makes our hearts sing, the wild, wild west. We wanted a place that had wide open spaces and natural beauty. A place where we could vacation safely while social distancing. Quick fact, did you know that South Dakota was named after the famous actress Dakota Fanning? What's that? Oh, no, 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 that's a lie. That's actually not the truth. But here are some quick facts about South Dakota. The Badlands name comes from the Lakota, a subculture of the Sioux tribe. Now they called it Makosika. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It means land of the bad. The Badlands were made a national park in 1978 and they're located in Southwest South Dakota. So we are gonna visit the Badlands and the Black Hills, two iconic destinations for any US road trip. And we are boondocking at one of the coolest places we've ever been to. Check this place out. Not only is this place beautiful, but the neighbors are very friendly. And by neighbors, I mean the local mountain goats that greeted us at our airstream. They walked right by our campsite and it was completely magical. All right, now it's time to explore. First up, Badlands National Park. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. We made it. The Badlands National Park. We are officially in the National Park and the first order of business is, of course, to hit the trails. So we're going to be hiking the Notch Trail today, which is a pretty easy 1.3 mile hike, but it has this really cool ladder that we're going to climb up and then we're going to continue to explore the area because there are a few hikes right here at the Notch Trailhead. Let's go. Okay. So the staple feature of the Notch hike is what's right behind me and it is a giant ladder, I'd say about 50 feet that goes up into the air, but it's fairly easy to climb. It's not like Half Dome in Yosemite. This is for all ages, I would say. I even saw a 10 year old scale it and go down it. So if they can do it, you can do it. But it is very windy up here and we are absolutely surrounded by the spires of the Badlands and it's absolutely stunning. It's the best way to start our first day in the Badlands. made it to the end of the hike and I think I know why it's called Notch Hike because basically you end at a notch in the mountains with a really beautiful overlook, checking out all the planes. I married a genius. Married a genius. <laughs> Simple. Oh, sweaty genius. <laughs> Pretty cool hike. What? Was it a little over a mile? A little over a mile. Yeah, it's Easy hike. Miles. Good little stop. I know that a lot of people in the Badlands just kind of do all the pull-offs and climb a few of the mountains right off the road, but I think to get inside these little, they're not hoodoos, but the um, spires. The spires is worth the time and worth the trip. After a short little water break in the car, basically went on the other side of the road. We're going to do a little more hiking, get a little bit more of a workout. So we're on Castle Trail, which is kind of starts out, as you can see, in the meadows. It's a different type of hike. You get to see all the beautiful spires in the Badlands just in a different way. So beware, there are rattlesnakes. All right, so normally Castle Trail is actually one of the more famous ones because it is a one-way hike that you can do and there'll be a shuttle that actually drives you back. But, you know, due to COVID, they've kind of shut a lot of the shuttles down. So you can either A, 
do a long loop or a uh, out and back if you want to, or you may have to have a friend park another car at the end. We're just gonna do part of the trail, I don't know, two, three miles. It's a really cool hike. Starts out in the plains and then you end up right back in to all these beautiful badlands again. All right, it's hot in here, hot out here. So if you guys are gonna do this hike, just know that there is zero, I mean like zero shade. Right now it's starting to get to almost 90 degrees. Oh, I don't know which farther I wanna go. Clint's up there, she might be jogging. Yeah, so just be sure to bring a lot of water on this trail. coming our way. <laughs> Whoa! So we were just finishing up dinner. Wow. We knew a storm was coming and there's some lightning and then there are hills. Like 180 degrees of lightning. <laughs> I actually had the time lapse going out there. I got so much dust. Oh my, my god, eyes. I have so much dust in my eyes right now. I and I like and felt I the dust, the, the gust coming, and I literally sprinted to catch the camera so it didn't get blown off the cliff. Yeah, it was wow. definitely gonna, like when I felt that gust go, oh. I was like, right inside. Oh, now our trailer's just shaking. Whew. Well, we knew this was coming. At least we had prepared for it, so everything. Oh, that hatch outside. Oh, I'll get it. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. We uh, just read on the radar up to 60 mile an hour wind gusts, so that thing that almost blew the camera off might have been 60 miles an hour. Right now, we are just kind of sitting in the airstream, kind of enjoying it, if one could enjoy such Whoa, thing. Oh, lightning! Yeah. Uh, and we've had a few shakes of the trailer, like full-on shakes <laughs> but so so far it's been pretty good but don't worry we're just on the edge of a cliff it's fine <laughs> It's sunflower season in South Dakota and we are about to go check out some sunflower fields. Now on our drive into South Dakota, we saw them absolutely everywhere, but we found this perfect field on the side of a country road. We're gonna go frolic in the flowers. What do you think about that? Come on in, the sunflowers are fine. <laughs> this has been on our bucket list for quite some time. We have always seen beautiful pictures of people in the sunflower fields and we've never really had a good opportunity until now. This is a great little field, no fences, nothing. We can get right in. Farmer might be upset, I don't know. But we didn't harm any flowers in the making of this video. <laughs> I would call this the field of dreams, personally. It's just stunning. I mean, there's sunflowers as far as the eye can see. You're seeing the beginning of them, but it goes on for acres and acres and acres, and it's absolutely stunning. Well, let me grab you guys, come on inside. All right, guys, come on in. Welcome. We are inside, and look at these things. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. They're about as big as our face. Sunflower season is well worth it. Isn't that amazing? It goes on for miles. Sunflowers everywhere. This just in, South Dakota summers are beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, 
those sunflowers are amazing, but I have to give you one warning of caution. Two days later, we showed up with red bumps all over our legs, and it turns out it has little bugs that are called chiggers. So if you're going to do that, you want to check out the sunflower seeds, put on a lot of bug spray, or make sure to take a shower immediately afterwards, or you're going to be itchy for quite a long time. So yeah, that was, a, that was definitely a big mistake there. So we made it to our second stop, the beautiful Black Hills. And this place is perfect for one of our favorite activities, hiking. Now, unfortunately, we have one small issue. Take a look. So, welcome to the Black Hills. Uh, as you can see, I had a little accident. I had something fall on my foot. We had a little problem. And that's why right now we're actually at the local hospital in urgent care because Colette is getting an x-ray done. She might have broken her foot. Oh, so what happened? My foot is not broken! Yay! <laughs> like that. Yeah, I got an x-ray. And the doctor said? And the doctor said, you're amazing! <laughs> no, the doctor said it's there's no fracture, so just keep weight off of it for the next few days and hopefully it will feel better after that. but luckily it is not broken. And the other lucky part about being in the Black Hills is I don't have to hike my way around them to enjoy them. So I can see Mount Rushmore and see all of the scenic drives that the Black Hills have to offer, even if I look like Jesse Spano. Okay, so first up is the wildlife loop. Let's go see some animals. But you can't catch me. Oh God, how do I do this? Help! Was it? We saw a bison! Yay! We're not even on the scenic route yet, but we already saw one because we're in the wild, baby. <laughs> Those things are big. They're so big. Wow. Makes me feel alive. So we are at Custer State Park and we're doing, what's the scenic route? It's called the Wildlife Loop Road and it will take about an hour and a half to drive through and we're supposed to be able to see things like elk and deer and maybe some bison. I really want to see some bison. I think that'd be so cool. Cause I'm hungry and I love wild bison. And the best time to come is <laughs> sunset, sunrise and sunset. And we're kind of a little early for sunset, but we want to come check it out. Oh, there are also coyotes and mountain lions and bighorn sheep. And did you know that Scott's spirit animal on land is the prairie dog? <laughs> Well, that's Alan! <laughs> Alan! So, hopefully we'll be able to see some because they're really cute. You think we could take one home? I... Do you think prairie dogs like airstreams? I think they love airstreams. Nice! Oh my god, this is awesome! <laughs> now these are not churros. Look who we have joining us today. I'm a little nervous. Is he going to stick his head in? Oh, he is! What's up, dude? God, I feel like I'm gonna scrape my rear view mirrors. This is crazy. Uh, well, truck fits, but anything bigger is not going to fit. That was that was just crazy. Beautiful. Oh, wow. yeah. So 
this morning we are checking out Sylvan Lake, which yeah. is a beautiful lake inside Custer State Park. And there are a bunch of lakes in the area, but after some Google Maps searching, we found that Sylvan Lake was the most picturesque. It kind of reminds me of Tahoe in a way, with the rocks jutting out from the water, and it's just absolutely perfect day. I mean, it's 80 degrees, it's sunny, it's a great way to spend the day in the Black Hills. What's up guys? Unfortunately, our time in South Dakota is coming to an end. I think we're gonna end it with a nice little campfire at our Yay. campsite. But we had an amazing time exploring the Badlands and the Black Hills of South Dakota for the past week. I am so amazed by the beauty here. It's been such a great, relaxing and adventurous time. I think it's kind of, I mean, I know that people know about Mount Rushmore. Yeah. They don't know about the Black Hills and everything surrounding it. I mean, look at this beautiful spot. Definitely gonna miss it. Let's come back when you can hike next time. That's true. Well, I got to hike the first time. That's true. Yay. Well, as always, I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And if you... <laughs> as always, I'm Scott. And I'm Colette. And we are Rum Rum. And if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe below. Bye-bye. Bye-bye from South Dakota.